welcome to episode number 104, today being the second year anniversary of the ABCs from God, where we are still sharing the truth about being Christian. Today's show is entitled, A Sinner's Paradise. In last week's episode, we shared the secret to a longer life. If you're new to our channel, welcome and please join the conversation in the comments section following the video. To make a financial donation, please go to my description below for the business inquiries email. And thank you in advance for supporting us to share the truth about being Christian. Today's title, A Sinner's Paradise, is not just from a movie from 1938. It is a world that liberals, democrats, rhinos, a world that they are currently trying to create. And why is this? Because they do not believe in God, the creator and ruler of this world and the next world. It is a heartbreaking thing for a true Christian to see these lost souls attempting to create their version of heaven on earth. Sadly, it starts like any socialist communist group of the past that is with them exterminating much of the population through evil and deceptive practices, all for the, the good of their cause. Let's list a, a few potential things currently at work. Abortion, family and gender mutilation, forced vaccines, lethal drugs, fuel and energy restrictions, lack of children's medicine, artificially spiked price increases, higher taxes. I could go on. When the devil has deceived many, the good old days become a distant memory. But have no fear, for you may be one of the lucky ones who has worked into this exclusive world club, or has been born into it, a sinner's paradise. These elite world fixers, or better said, demon-possessed deplorables, are so lost in themselves and so far away from God that they cannot see their actions as evil. Why is that? Bible quote. From the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verses 14 to 16. Because of this, I will once again astound these hypocrites with amazing wonders. The wisdom of the wise will pass away, and the intelligence of the intelligent will disappear. What sorrows awaits those who try to hide their plans from the Lord, who do their evil deeds in the dark? The Lord can't see us, they say. He doesn't know what's going on. How foolish can you be? He is the potter, and he certainly is greater than you, the clay. Should the created thing say of the one who made it, he didn't make me? Does a jar ever say the potter who made me is stupid? So their evil actions cannot be seen because in their sins, God has taken away their intelligence and their wisdom and what is left but an upside down dark world. Can you see these people in action right now? What can the godly person do? Bible quote. From the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verses 11 and 13. Take no part in the worthless deeds of evil and darkness. Instead, expose them. But their evil intentions will be exposed when the light shines on them. And how should we act? Listen to Ephesians 5, verses 18 to 20. Don't be drunk with wine, because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves, and making music to the Lord in your hearts. And give thanks for everything to God the Father, in the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ. My friend, if you have been with the wrong crowd, you need to wise up and connect with a Bible-led church. Here, you will develop new friends and truly engage yourself in the real life. Did you just wake up? Are you beginning to see the light? Is God reaching into your heart for the first time? Whoever you are and whatever you have done, if you sincerely confess your sins to God, He will forgive you. Join into His loving family today. Bible quote. 
from the book of John, chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. All who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it. For fear, their sins will be exposed. But those who do what is right come to the light so others can see that they are doing what God wants. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for giving us the light, the forgiving light of Jesus Christ who died to erase all of our sins. Our sinner's paradise is lost as we praise you in bringing us into your wonderful heavenly paradise. We now have life in you, Lord, and each of us is a new person honestly turning from all sin. We are reborn to trust and follow you from this day forwards. Amen. Well, please join with me for next week's show entitled, Turn Off Your Phone and Get a Life. Well, if you enjoyed this show, please now hit the pause button and help support this channel by smacking the like and subscribe buttons and hit that bell to always get our latest episode. And please comment and share today's show with someone who you think would enjoy it or benefit from it, possibly a minister, someone in your church. For those of you who are currently without a church group, please feel free to go to my description and listen to a weekly sermon from the Richmond Alliance Church. We also recommend our brothers down south, Alistair Begg at Truth For Life, and John MacArthur at Grace To You. Well, if you've just come to Jesus Christ or have been following him for a while, begin or keep up your daily habit of reading the Holy Bible. Be part of a Bible-based church and join with my friends and I in sharing God's truths, his ABCs, about being Christian. God bless.